Hey guys, so this video I'm gonna be talking about the struggles of using a knee scooter because I was on one for about four months, I feel like maybe more. But um yeah, I got foot surgery during the summer, so that was fun. And then I couldn't walk on it for a long time, so I had to go to school using a knee scooter. And um yeah, it was a journey. But first I have some news. So I'm going to be starting a gaming channel. I already have the channel up, but there's nothing on it yet. And it's going to be called Fiery Games. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you can go and subscribe. If I can figure out how to put the subscribe button on the screen, I'll do that. But anyways, let's talk about the struggles, because the struggles are real. So um, the first thing is almost crashing into people. That is annoying, because the people... They're not paying attention, especially in school when there's like 50 million people. So these people will be walking around on their phones, just walking, not paying any attention. And I'll be coming down like a hill or something because it's just really fun to go down the hills. But um, not only that, but that's the only way to go to the class. So I'm going down this hill. And for example, there was a guy walking like on his phone like this. And the guy looks up and literally, <laughs> just like in the movies, he jumped out of the way. Like, I was in a car or something. He literally jumped out of the way. And so everyone's like, oh, they need to put a speed limit in the school. And, like, I don't ever, like, speak my mind out in public. But in my mind, I was thinking, well, maybe you should pay attention. Because if you were paying attention, we wouldn't need a speed limit if you watched where you were going in the first place. Um, the next struggle, it draws too much attention. Now, like, I'm a pretty shy, introverted person. So to have basically everybody in the whole school staring at you and feeling sorry for you, like, it just, it just draws so much. Like, I don't like people, I don't like everybody staring at me, especially if I don't know you. Like, if, I just don't want random people staring at me. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys understand how I feel. That's why I don't like doing uh, presentations in school, because it just feels like everybody is, like, watching you. Like, they can see into your soul. Like, it's just weird. I don't like it. Um, next, I used to have my book bag. I used to hang it onto the handles because it's like, you know, a bike or a scooter. So basically, it's like, a uh, imagine a scooter where it has the same handles and like the big bar in the middle. And then instead of putting your foot on it, it's higher up and the wheels are bigger. So you'd put your knee on top of it and push like, like a scooter, but using your knee instead. So, um... I would basically put my book bag onto the handles and have it just like rest right like in front of the cushion part where I put my knee. I have to show you guys a picture of it, but um, basically the book bag was always falling off. And it wouldn't really be a problem if it didn't get in the way of the wheels because it would slow me down. And if I have to make a sharp turn, it would like tilt the whole thing over and I would almost fall. So imagine a person who can't walk falling off of a knee scooter in front of thousands of uh, judgmental teenagers. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, I've only fell once in school, and that was outside where nobody was paying attention except for my friend. And I fell, like, twice outside of school, though. I fell the first day, no, the second day I used it, but it was my first day going to school. And um, I also fell in the house one time. I forgot how. But I think I was like parking my knee scooter somewhere in the house and it tipped over and I fell and my dog Delilah was like freaking out because one, she's scared of the knee scooter, but two, she likes people on the floor so she can tackle them. So after a few minutes of her getting over her fear, she came over and licked my face, I guess, to help me feel better. Like, you know, like how moms kiss their kids, like if they get a cut or something, I guess that was her way of showing that she cares, but um. Next, it's too big to fit between doors and hallways and stuff. It's so annoying, especially in the bathroom stalls. Because the girls, like, no offense, well, actually, no, it's kind of offenseful. The girls in my school are a bunch of pigs. If you ever, have you ever been into a girl's bathroom? It, you would think, okay, girls, you would think girls' bathrooms are supposed to be neater than, neater than boys' bathrooms. No, it is disgusting. But when I tell you the bathroom is disgusting... It is disgusting. Like, and I don't even think the janitors in the school do their job. Because we've been out of, like, what's it called? Like, 
paper towels, yeah, to dry your hands. We've been out of that for weeks. And then they just decided to remove the whole paper towel dispenser. So now there's like a bench inside in the corner of the bathroom. And it just has a long uh, paper towel roll. It looks like a giant roll of toilet paper, basically. But, um, yeah, the bathroom stalls, like, it doesn't fit in normal stalls. And sometimes people just use the big handicapped bathroom just because they want to feel special I guess so when I had to use the bathroom I had to actually get off and hop on one foot into the bathroom because I couldn't walk on it yet um next are hills now hills is fun to go down hills but it's not fun to go up hills it is so much work it took me forever just to get up this one hill to go to school because I have to walk to and from school well Right now, my dad's been picking me up and driving me to school because I don't need a new scooter anymore. But I can't really walk that long distance, especially up hills. So, um, but hills is like a double-sided battle because on one hand, it takes you forever to go up hills and it's so exhausting. But to go down hills is so much fun. It's like a roller coaster. And it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but like the wind just like blowing your hair. It sounds like a car or like, a roller coaster because the little wheels on the scooter are like, like it makes a noise like a car going really fast but it's still it's still a double-sided battle but then in school though it's a different story because uh there's a bunch of people in the way and they don't move like do you not see a person riding like this bicycle scooter looking contraption why would you stand right in front of some especially if they're going down a hill i'll see people who go in front of me purposefully so that way they can get in front of me just because they think I'm slower or something. So then when I'm going down a hill and I almost run over them, they give me this look like it's my fault when you're the one who got in my way in the first place. That's like jumping in front of a car because you want to get to McDonald's before they do. Like, it makes no sense. Uh, for example, in one video, I mentioned this one girl where I was trying to get through this tiny door area. I don't know why they do this, but... At the school, it's like two doors you can pull open, but there's a bar in the middle. So when you open it, there's like a bar. So it makes it like kind of narrow when you're on a knee scooter trying to get past a bunch of students that act like animals. So this girl thought it was an amazing idea to try to jump over the wheel of my knee scooter. Like she jumped over the front wheel of my knee scooter to try to get in front of me. I don't know why. We're all going to the same place. Why are you in a big rush? Like really but anyways she tried to jump in front of the, the front wheel of the knee scooter and then she tripped on the wheel and hit her face on the pole that I was just talking about and I didn't feel sorry for her at all because she was annoying and it was her fault and then she even just looked like oh sorry but you could tell she didn't mean it so I was just like I gave her this look like what the heck like seriously really but um I guess the good thing about using a knee scooter is I can leave five minutes early so that way I don't have to deal with the craziness as much. But it still kind of takes a long time when you have to go up and down hills. Speaking of which, around to get around on an e-scooter, you have to take the long way because there's stairs everywhere. So fortunately for me, I don't have to go up and down stairs. I can use the elevator. But it's still pretty annoying. For example, there's um, a hallway that goes this way and there's a flight of stairs. Or it's not even a flight of stairs, it's like five steps. But anyways, you go up the stairs and there's a door. For me, I have to go out the other way, go all the way around, and then go up a ramp or like a hill, and then go through. It's just the long way. You have to go the long way of everything. Like usually, um, I used to run across the street to get to the school because my school is literally across the street. But the amazing people of Georgia thought it was a great idea to not put a stop sign, a stoplight there. There's like a big road like this. It's kind of like T-shaped or not really, but. Okay, so my apartment complex is this way. Then there's a big road this way. My school is right here. In order to get to my school, you have to go either this way, go all the way to the end of the street, press the button and then cross and then go all the way back up. Or you can go this way and do the exact same thing. At least if you go this way, the gym is in this direction, but the main building you would have to go all the way back around across the neighborhood that I was just at and then go up a big hill. If you go this way, you would have to go all the way back around. And sometimes the streetlights don't even work, so it's extra annoying.
the first few days you use a knee scooter, you are extra sore. It's not even the first few days. It's maybe like the first few weeks. Your legs are so sore. But then on the opposite side, once you get off the knee scooter, your knees are sore again. Because I guess you eventually get used to just putting all your weight on this knee. But once you don't need it anymore, you start walking and moving your knee like this while you walk. Instead of just keeping it like this all day, it makes your knees hurt so much. I've been off the knee scooter now for a few months, and my knees are still sore, especially when I have to go up and down stairs and hills and ramps, which is why I don't walk to school, because I have to go up a big hill. But I can walk home, though. Um, oh, yeah, almost crashing into people and things. I already mentioned this, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, because I almost ran over my teacher, because I was going down a hill, and sometimes it's hard to control a scooter when you're going down hills. So my teacher was slowly walking down this hill. And here I come at full speed coming down this hill. And I didn't want to hit him or anything. Because he's kind of like, he's kind of old. So I kind of like try to swerve around him. And I went like this. And the knee scooter tilted over and I almost fell off of it. And he was like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I was trying not to hit you. He's like, well... You're the one on the knee scooter, so I don't want I wouldn't want you to fall and then break your other foot and get hurt. So, um, it was kinda of embarrassing. But luckily there wasn't that many people there. And um I guess that's it for this video. I don't really have that much to talk about. But um other than how freaking cold it is, like, are you serious? They're saying it's snowing in northern parts of Georgia right now. Because it's like thirty Maybe, I think, no, it's a little bit lower than 30. It's 30 degrees around here, like 38 degrees. But then in the northern Georgia where there's mountains and stuff, it's already snowing because it's like higher up. And it's just been raining all day and it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. So hopefully we'll get snow. It'd be kind of um, ironic if we got snow today. But it's been... Since it's been raining all day, it's dark outside, so I have to use this little lamp again that I used in my other video. Yeah, so since I'm not a professional YouTuber, um, I'm just using this little stupid cheap lamp that I have <laughs> instead because I don't have one of those big LED lights, but it's working pretty good. It's better than using that light up there, like in my first video. That video quality was so bad, but um... Yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment if you want. And yeah, goodbye world.